as you may have heard, we've got some newfangled ways of looking at fossils. We can use wavelengths of light outside of the visible, because infrared, ultraviolet, and x-rays will excite molecules in different minerals in distinctive ways. So if you excite, for instance, the different fossilized parts of an organism, you can see how it absorbs infrared or how it fluoresces. You're probably familiar with UV fluorescence. It's why some stuff glows under a black light. It's emitting the light back to us at a lower energy, dropping it down into visible frequencies. But minerals also fluoresce at all kinds of wavelengths, visible or not. And with careful measurement of the signals we get from that, we can study a specimen's chemistry with very high precision. This is called spectrometry. We can also use these wavelengths to just take a picture, either with a microscope or through a regular camera lens. Some minerals, like the apatite in our bones, do fluoresce under UV, which means you can light your whole specimen, slab and all, and photograph it and you'll catch things that you wouldn't have seen with the naked eye. If we go even more high-tech, we can hit our specimen with energy beams. Scanning electron microscopes use a beam of electrons, hence the name, and by detecting the energy that comes off of it, you can figure out its chemical makeup. But we can also use electrons as if they're a light source, which is how we take pictures of tiny structures like melanosomes, which are the cell organelles responsible for melanin pigments. And figuring out how to interpret those was a major breakthrough in paleocolor. 